Hola mi gente, Joe Barreto back with you at the Credit Card Connection. I'm so glad you can join me. Well mi gente, today I'm going to bring you what I think is the first ever 35 year review of a membership with American Express. That's right, mi gente. My membership goes back to 1989 when big hair was in style, when you had a lot of hairspray in it, kind of like Bon Jovi. And I'm going to put that picture back there because I'm sure a lot of people watching this right now don't know who Bon Jovi is. So this might trigger your memories here. But I go back to 89. It was after I started my first year of teaching and it was the first premium card that I got, which was the gold card that I got that year. Okay. So today I'm going to bring you my feelings on the card over the past 35 years. I'm going to share with you the cards of American Express that I've had, that I continue to have. Because um, if you think about it, Amex is the one card that people go to because if it gives them the feeling of, you know, luxury or accomplishment or prestige, right? Um, that's the one everybody wants to get. And then what happens is when they get it, and then the fees kick in and the newness wears off, then that's the card that everybody loves to hate and they want to cut it up and they want to cancel and they'll put videos back and forth on keep or cancel. I can't make up my mind, blah, blah, blah. So today I'm going to bring you what I've had over the years. I'm also going to give you three different viewpoints from three of my fellow creators who are doing me the favor to bring you their personal take on the green, the gold and the platinum card in addition to my own thoughts on those okay so just do me a favor if all that sounds good to you hit the like and subscribe check out the referral links below which i do have referral links for american express especially and consider just um joining the hola mi gente membership i really appreciate it it does help out the channel so i just want you to get comfortable now Enjoy what's coming your way. Remember, I got three creators helping me out on this video. So let's jump into it, mi gente. First and foremost, as I was looking up, doing the research on the cards, you're going to see me going up and down because there's a couple of cards with different varying dates. And I want to make sure I give you everything as exact as I can give it to you from what I found. Okay. A lot of people think that Amex was probably the first card or charge card to come out because, you know, it's technically still the most prestigious, right? However, that goes to the Diners Club card. And when I was a kid growing up, you would see the commercials in the 70s for the Diners card. It was always like on an international flight or something like that. And you saw the person with the card. Now, Amex came out technically with their first card because the green card wasn't really their first card. No, in 1958, Amex had a paper purple card charge card okay that was in 1958 the green card did not come out until and i'm going to look at it here just to make sure i got it right 1969 the gold which ironically was put out when i was born in 1966 and the platinum is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary so that was 1984 when i graduated high school Yes, I admitted it. That's when I graduated high school. And I am going to my 40th high school reunion in October. So that just gives you a history of how far back the card goes. So if you think about it, I've had Amex for more than half of its life, um, pretty much. So the card that I got first and foremost was the gold card. And that was in 1989. Now, funny thing about Amex is, no matter what card you get after you get your first one, they're all going to say the membership year. And I'm going to show you, let's say on the green card, it'll say 1989, right? Um, on the platinum card, 1989. And then even on the business cards, I thought it would have had a different date, but it doesn't. It's also 1989. So, I'm going to start with the green card. Now, the green card is actually my most recent of the personal charge cards. So I got this one dead last. I got this card back in March because I did cut up 
my gold card, my gold personal card, because I knew the fees were going to go up and I wasn't willing to do that because uh, I wasn't using it enough. So back when, when the green card came out, uh, funny enough, the green card was $6. <laughs> Just let that sink in for a minute. $6 for a card. And they wanted to make it prestigious. And that's why they had it as green because they wanted it to reflect the color of money and power. So that was green. The gold became Amex's first, you know, kind of premium travel card. And that's why they made it gold. And then years later, if you look at it from 1966 all the way to 84, then they put out the platinum card. And in 1999, they put out the black card, the Centurion card. Okay, so right now that one is celebrating its 25th. Uh, anniversary, but I don't know anyone that has a black card, so I'm not even including it in this video. <laughs> so, but you know, I got the gold card my first year out because I it was a card everybody wanted to get, right? I was 21 turning 22. I thought it would be great to have it. I applied for it. I think when I got that card, it was about $70 or so. Right now, it's $325. When I cut it up, it was $250 back in February. But the gold card did give me a lot of value. I've actually, I, in other videos that I've done, I've said where I charged in a 10-year span on that gold card, $276,000. Wasn't the smartest move I ever made because it just spiraled me into debt. But, you know, when you're young, you, don't, you sometimes do dumb things. And that was one of the dumb things I did. But, you know, the gold card was always kind of that flex card for me until I got the platinum card then the platinum card becomes the flex card, right? So right now, I'm gonna put you on because we mentioned the green card first and I wanna go in order. So my man Sledge from Sledge Inc. Team is coming on now and he'll be on with you about a minute or two, giving you his thoughts on why he has the green card, what he feels about it. So let's jump into that. Thanks a lot, Sledge, for that. I appreciate it. What is up, team? It's your boy Sledge from the Sledge Inc. Team. Back with another video. All right, hold on for a second. It's Joe. Hey, what's up, homie? Okay, okay. When you need it. Man, I was in the middle of recording a video, but you know I got you. Just give me a second. Whoa! What is up, team? It's your boy Sledge from the Sledging Team, back on another video. But today, I'm doing something special because of my boy Joe hit me up and he wanted me to do this little video for him. And you know over here at Sledging, we get straight to business, so let's get to it. Okay, so Joe asked me to talk about why I like the American Express green card. So this is an easy one for me. I just think the American Express green card is American Express best travel card for most people because it earns points and categories for everyday spend. I mean, you get three points per dollar for transit and travel. And we're not just talking about flights and hotels. I mean, very broad categories. This includes cruises, vacation rentals, parking, ride shares, tows, and, and that's just to name a few things. And for me personally, when I travel, I don't like to drive. So earning points just to get around is ideal for me. And being that I'm in Florida, I go through a lot of tolls and you even have to pay for parking in most common areas. Plus, there's that upgrade downgrade process. And if you don't know, slide over to your boy's channel and check out this video right here. Then there's that $189 clear credit so I can get right in front of that TSA pre-check line. Now I know some people go get on here and say, I don't like clear. TSA pre-check is better, and that's cool. But Joe asked my opinion. He didn't ask yours. And if you didn't know, do your research on my opinion being more important than everyone else's. But anyways, I appreciate Joe for allowing me some time on his channel. But most importantly, I appreciate each and every person that viewed this video. It's your boy Sledge. Salute. So now that you see what Sledge thinks of the green card. Let's jump into the gold. So like I said, the gold was the first premium card I have. The gold was phenomenal with 
they're four times on dining and four times on supermarket spend. They give you a lot of food credits. It's actually become the foodie card as opposed to the travel card when it first launched back in the day. For those of you old enough to remember, if you even traveled internationally, um, American Express had something called traveler's checks. And they were like these long paper checks that, you know, internationally were known as currency. And it was easier to use that for cash than it was to go to an exchange. You know, the, the digital currency wasn't like it is now. So that's what people use if they knew they were traveling abroad. They use traveler's checks to make it easier on themselves. Okay. So Amex was known because that was like this perk. That was the, you know, membership has its privileges. That was the card that kind of gave you that elite status. So the gold card for me did that and it did that well. And it still continues to do well for so many people. So much so that I ended up opening up last year a business gold card. And what I did was, I'm going to show you here, about a month ago or so, Amex dropped when they when they raised their um, prices on the gold card, they dropped a white gold version of it. Now, it's not going to really represent well here, but this is white gold. This is the white gold business card. So I got this card as a keepsake because I canceled it. I felt at this point that they raised it up so much for the business and I was having the same issue as I had with the gold that the fee kind of just outweighed what I that what I was able to use it for. I really wasn't able to use it for the categories they were offering me for business. And I said, why well, stick myself with another, you know, giant bill, a fee, an annual fee card when I'm really not putting it to use the way I should. So I ended up canceling that card last month. Okay. So Speaking of the gold card, there are a lot of people out there that love it. They love now that you can get the Resi credit. They love now that you can get the Dunkin' Donuts credit. Um, I asked my friend John, John R., he's going to come out now in two seconds with his review of the gold card. And please check out John's channel as well. I'm going to have his link down in the description box below. But John's going to give you his take on the gold card and why for him, that's a keeper card for life. So we're going to jump to John now, sit back and enjoy that one. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. John here again. Joe Barreto of the YouTube channel, The Credit Card Connection, a.k.a. My Dad, asked me to do a short video for him on why I like and even love my American Express gold card so much. And this is obviously white gold. Um. The answer is very simple and point blank. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know why. But the short of it is because of where I shop for groceries at, Walmart has a grocery store chain called Walmart Neighborhood Markets. They are in direct competition with the likes of a Kroger or a Hy-Vee or a price chopper or an Aldi or a save a lot or whatever, you name it. It's direct competition with other grocery stores. The gold cards superpower at Walmart neighborhood markets is I actually earn the grocery, the grocery multiplier on this card, which is four X because it codes as grocery. Now, I, ironically, if I use a Chase card, well, Chase has no grocery multipliers other than the Sapphire, my Sapphire Preferred does, but it's online grocery only, and it only gets 1x anyway, even though it does code as grocery store. Same thing with city cards. My city custom cash, my Strata Premier card, those cards also, when you make a purchase there, at the Walmart grocery store, it codes as grocery store. The MCC code, it codes properly, but city customer care point blank told me that because it has Walmart in the name, those cards will get nothing more than one X. So the best I can do out of any card is the double cash of cities at two X and with Chase, the Freedom Unlimited at 1.5. That's the best I can do with any of those cards. 
Whereas with the MX Gold Card, I get 4X on all my grocery purchases. So the MX Gold Card for me is a superpower at Walmart grocery stores. And then you add in the kicker of 4X on dining too. It's all things food card for me. I don't have to think about any other cards. I just, anything food, I pull out the gold card and bam, done, 4X. I'm good to go. So anyway, that's why I have the love for the gold card that I have. And back to you, dad. Take care. So now that you see what John thinks about his gold card, and you can feel the love, can't you? <laughs> We're going to go to the platinum card, which now for me, um, honestly, is the go-to card for travel. Now, I know it's not their best multiplier card for you to get the most points. It does give you the most on travel, five times on, air, on airfare especially, and if you um, purchase anything through their portal. But five times on airlines is huge. So traveling to New Orleans like I just did this past weekend on Labor Day for the creator meetup, um, it's a no-brainer to use it. Plus the lounge access was huge. So different things like that is what make paying the eye-watering $695 a year for the Platinum card. Now, when the card came out back in 84, it was $250. So over 40 years, you know, it went up $400. And $55, which if you look at it, not terrible, right? It's not terrible. But when you have multiple American Express cards, and here's where that love-hate relationship comes in. People love the cards, all the cards, in their first year especially, because they'll give you access to clear. They'll give you access um, to digital services, um, $240 worth on the Platinum a year, Walmart Plus, gold status at Hilton and uh, Marriott, whereas a Chase uh, Sapphire Reserve doesn't give you status on them. Also gives you status with car rental services. It gives you um, it, amazing insurance protections on purchases and even for uh, car rentals as well, as I've gone over a lot that I actually prefer to pay the 19 or $24 for a, for a car rental through Amex then get the zero one for Chase because it's just my experience with Chase wasn't all that great, even though they're scheduled to change that October 1st. But the Platinum card does bring me a lot of value, which is why when I cut up the gold card, there was an offer online um, for me to get 250,000 membership rewards points for $15,000 spend for the Amex. Let me pull it up because I have like a shuffle of cards here, guys. For the business platinum card, okay? So also says 1989 for the credit card connection, right? So why did I get this card? Well, I got the card because of, again, you get the same status at the hotels. You get the clear credit again. Plus it was giving you um, $200 twice a year for Dell, which I immediately used, plus the $200 in airline um, credit, which I transferred over to the United Travel Bank and just deposited it in there right away. So right off the bat, I was able to kind of recoup the cost of that card. Plus, I know $15,000 spend is a lot, but I was able to do that as well because a family member had a big charge coming and I put that on my card. So that was an easy, you know, take in of 250,000 membership rewards points. So now I have two platinum cards. I have the American Express green card, which funny enough, for those of you that follow the channel know what I did with it. But if you notice on the green card, I'm missing the chip. And that's because I put the chip to the lion card. So this is actually my green American Express card. So when people see it, they think it's the gold. And I'm like, no, it's the green American Express. And I got the green card because it offers actually a lot more travel benefits as well as a clear credit. Whereas, like I said, the gold card is now become the foodie card and I just wasn't putting it to use. So I love the platinum card. And that's why I asked my friend, Anthony Venture, to come on and give me his take on the platinum card and why he likes it and what doesn't he like about it. So we're going to jump into him right now. So just sit back and enjoy Anthony.
Ah, the Amex Platinum card. The card that has given me the highest highs and the lowest lows. The card that has given me some of the best experiences of my life and has also left me much more poor at the end of each year. Of course, as somebody who has been a little bit swayed, a little bit swindled by that of MasterCard and their World Elite program, many, many people have told me, oh, I am a flip-flopper, I am someone who's turning on American Express. <laughs> Well, I think that's right for a lot of different reasons, but the Amex Platinum card, if we're going to be saying things positive about it, I mean, there is no other card that has given me a widespread, wide array of good experiences. Ranging anything from Hilton Gold status and giving me dining credits, you know, every single time we stay at a hotel, which is, you know, pretty much offsetting a lot of that Amex Platinum annual fee if you don't have like a Hilton Surpass, Hilton Aspire, what have you, to even FHR and allowing me to break into the world of luxury or luxurious hotels has really led me down a path of like, I don't want to pay for a hotel unless I'm getting $100 credits in daily breakfast or two, you know, $160 in credits for paying cash for some of these hotels. FHR has broke that ground for me and I will always love it for that reason or even the main car that has allowed me to have some of the best lounge experiences of my entire life, going to escape lounges, which now can be accessed through Priority Pass, but for a time it wasn't able to, uh, Centurion lounges, Delta Sky Club lounges, some of these lounges that have really changed my perspective on flight travel <laughs> and wanting a card such as that to pretty much cover the wide array of your entire travel experience, as Cesar Joel would say. And really, no other card kind of comes close to at least the amount of things that come on one singular card. I just happen to find a way to get a lot of the things that the Amex Platinum card offers you for much cheaper or for free in some cases on different cards, but that's my personal situation. That's how often I fly, and that's how valuable some of these things are to me personally to you, that might be very, very different. And for you, the Platinum card might make more sense than anything else in anybody's wallet to this day. And I think there will come a time where the Platinum card does actually outweigh every other card in my wallet. But for now, in the meantime, when I'm not traveling as much as some of these heavy hitters out there, it's okay to possibly say goodbye for a little bit and then come back to it you know, a year or so from now. All those things are very possible, very doable. And by the way, okay. So I love the Platinum card for all it has ever given me. I love for what it is today. Uh, the Platinum card will make sense to you. It may not make sense to you, but those things can change from month to month, from year to year, and that is okay. So thank you so much, Joe, for allowing me to have this portion of the Platinum card segment. I know it's supposed to be a minute where we're going a little long right now, but that is all the things that the Platinum card has given me. And I'll always love it for that, no matter what. And thank you so much, Joe, for allowing me to be on your channel. Thank you so much. And back yeah, to you. Do this. All right. <gasps> Tariq! 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 I want that ink! Weba! Oh, wow. So now that you see what Anthony thinks about the Platinum card, you see I had three different creators talk about the cards that they kind of value the most in terms of in Amex's ecosystem. Sledge had been pushing me forever to get the green card because he said, Joe, that is the card that is the most, you know, beast of a points earner for Amex. And he wasn't lying. The travel protections, the travel points for tolls, ferries, parking, um, even airlines you get three times is amazing. Plus the three times to go out and dine, great. You get two lounge buddy passes, excellent. So for $150 a year, that's a solid card. And ironically, the green on the card actually does represent the money you're getting back in points because that has been the biggest points earner for me thus far. The gold card might see a comeback for me if I decide, because now that I have two platinum cards, there's a lot of overlap. The only difference for me would be that I wouldn't get the digital entertainment credit and I wouldn't get the Walmart credit. I don't go to Walmart. I get Paramount Plus with it. That's about all I use for it. Um, and then the digital entertainment credit has taken kind of a hit because I was using it to pay off my Sirius XM bill and they got rid of that. So, and my other streaming services are covered by other cards in full. So it wouldn't be a great loss if I cut that card off. But here's why I might just keep the business platinum. If you recall, most people value on a good value, let's say a good valuation of points, one cent per point, right? As a baseline. If you have a hundred thousand, I'm gonna give you the example, a hundred thousand Chase Ultimate Rewards points, and you cash out that 100,000 Chase Ultimate Rewards points, you get a thousand dollars. Here's the problem. 
with the plain, as they call it, vanilla platinum card from Amex. If you had 100,000 membership rewards points and you cashed them out for cash, you're only going to get $600. Okay? Think about it. 40% less. Doesn't make sense when you're paying almost $700 for a card. But with the business platinum for the same $695 a year, because I have a checking, a business checking with them, I can cash out the points at one cent per point. Whereas normally you would need the Charles Schwab Platinum card and an account to get 1.1 cent. So I was actually going to consider to swap out, and it's a separate application, believe it or not, the vanilla Platinum card for the Charles Schwab version. But I, now that I got the business Platinum, it's a no-brainer. For the 0.1, I'm not going to go through hoops and get another card. So... I'm just going to probably keep the business platinum, especially with the benefits that they offer and the same protections. Plus, they give you a 35% points boost back to you if you purchase airline tickets um, through them. So, you know, it's a good catch. And even though it's $695, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, to me, it's worth it. This weekend, being in a lounge when it was chaos in the airports, Nothing better than being able to go into a lounge and know that you had the capability to go in there. Not only that, and Anthony Venture out there can tell you, he was with his friend Calby. We were all leaving New Orleans. The line for TSA was long. The line for TSA pre-check was not as long, but still long. And there was one person in front of me on clear. And I went right to the front. So little things like that, that give you the value. And that's why a lot of people say that even though Amex is probably the most expensive card lineup that you can jump into an ecosystem, it is the most rewarding because you're paying for what you get. And I understand that it can be a lot of money. And I understand that people are going to say, but Chase is better for this. Or, you know, you can use City for that or Wells for this or Bank of America or Capital One Venture X. And they're great cards. I'm not saying that they're not. But for over 35 years, I can honestly tell you that American Express has a few things up on all those cards. First and foremost, their customer service for me is the best. Maybe the only other card issuer that has a credit card support like that customer service support is Discover. Okay. But that just shows you just Discover. Everything else falls you know, shy of Amex by a lot. The other thing is um, just the value that the cards give you, even though you're paying a lot for it. Like I said, the Platinum gives you so many different statuses with car rentals, with hotels, with access to airport lounges, the biggest network for that. You know, I see the value and the point in my life that I'm in right now, I can see, you know, just keeping the car because it's worth it. But now that I got the business side of it to run this business, because it's not cheap to do something on YouTube, believe it or not, that business card gives me that flexibility. So I can honestly tell you, and I want to thank my guys, Sledge, John, and Anthony um, for giving me their opinions and, and loading their videos up here for all, all of you to see. But I can honestly tell you that for me, the 35 years that I've had with Amex, not just on their charge cards, but I have their Hilton Surpass, their, Ma their Marriott um, Bonvoy Business Card, their American Express Amazon Business Prime. So I have a lot of other cards with Amex, and I'm sure I'll be adding to the pile in the future. Um, so that's why I think 35 years later, I'm glad I got into the ecosystem of American Express. I'll leave you with this one funny story. So back in the late 80s, you know, you didn't have the internet. You didn't have access like this. And Amex was the first that would send you these catalogs and you were able to use to buy items using the credit card. And I bought my first, which back then was the biggest thing ever, 25-inch TV that weighed like 300 pounds and it cost $499, but they let you pay it monthly for the one year, but you had to order it through the catalog. So 
That's how they used to do business back in the day. Now you see how far things have come. Everything is at our fingertips. You can move money into savings accounts. You can open checking accounts. So the credit card space has changed dramatically since Amex first came out with their paper card, that purple card in 1958. But for me, mi gente, 35 years of Amex has shown me one thing. Yeah, the fees are a kick in the head. Yeah, sometimes jumping through hoops to get certain credits is a pain in the neck. But Amex does make my life better in certain situations. And those situations are basically for travel. And when I want to do something that I don't want to have a limit on, that I know I can go out there and just charge it without being capped, that's huge. So, mi gente, I hope you enjoyed this 35-year review of American Express. Once again, I thank my friends for uploading their videos to share with you and sharing their thoughts. But most of all, mi gente, like I always say, you can be everywhere else. You chose to be here. But more than anything else, I thank you for giving me the privilege of your time. Until next time, mi gente, take care.